Welcome back, everyone. Today, we'll recap a 1981 American supernatural horror film named The Evil Dead. Before we start, it is a request to please like and comment on the video as it will help us to grow our reach. At the beginning of the movie, we see a group of friends going on vacation to an isolated cabin in rural Tennessee. Meanwhile, we see a force coming towards them from the forest, and suddenly a truck comes in front of them, from which they narrowly escape. Now ahead they are crossing an old bridge when suddenly it breaks down, but Scott pulls the car out. Then finally they reach that cabin, and while Scott approaches the cabin, the group notices the porch swing move on its own, but suddenly stop as Scott grabs the keys. Next, we see Cheryl drawing a picture of a clock, and that clock suddenly stops. Just then the wind starts blowing, and she hears a faint demonic voice tell her to join them. Then all of a sudden her hand becomes possessed, and draws a picture of a book with a demonic face on its cover. Then she sees that someone is trying to open the cellar door. Although shaken, she does not mention the incident, and during dinner, the cellar trap door flies open. All of them gets quite surprised to see it, and they think that there might be some animal down there. Scott decides to go inside the cellar to investigate, but when he doesn't come back for a while, Ash goes in to check on him. Now Ash is looking for him when suddenly Scott scares him, and he takes him to show him some things. They find a book there along with archaeologist Raymond Noby's tape recorder, and they take the items upstairs. Ash plays a tape, in which Raymond mentions that he was excavating the ruins of Kandar with a group of his colleagues for a number of years. Now he and his wife have retreated to a small cabin. Here he continued his research and made a significant find in the Kandarian ruins, a volume of ancient Sumerian burial practices and funerary incantations. It is entitled Nature Omdemanto. Translated as Book of the Dead, it is bound in human flesh and inked in human blood. It deals with demon resurrection and those forces which roam the forest and dark bowers of man's domain. These enduring creatures may be recalled to active life through the incantations presented in this book, and they can possess the living. Now Cheryl gets scared hearing all this and turns off the tape recorder. But Scott starts teasing her and plays the tape again, and this time an incantation starts playing in it that resurrects a demonic entity. Cheryl yells for Scott to turn off the tape recorder, and a tree branch breaks one of the cabin's windows. Cheryl runs away in fear and Ash starts scolding Scott, which leads to an argument between them. Later, Ash gives Linda a locket which she loves very much, and says that she will never take it off. Meanwhile, we see that someone is watching them, the entity then goes to Scott and Shelley's window, and then to Cheryl's window who is alone in her room. It aghasts her to join them, and an agitated Cheryl goes into the woods to investigate strange noises. She says that she knows someone is out here and she heard him in the cellar. Then suddenly the branches of the trees start breaking and the growling of a creature is heard. Seeing this, Cheryl gets terrified, after which some demonically possessed roots of the tree start growing towards her and completely grasp her, and then start tearing her clothes. After this, those roots start sexually assaulting her and then raping her. Cheryl somehow frees herself from those roots and tries to make her escape from there, and we see that demon is following her. But she reaches the cabin, and before the demon could reach her, Ash opens the door, and she runs in and shuts the door, and the demon goes back screaming. Here she tells her brother Ash that the trees in the woods are alive, and they have done this to her. She says that she wants to leave this place right now, but they do not believe her and Ash tries to explain to her that there is no one outside, and the trees do not attack people. But when she does not agree, Ash decides to take her to the town. Now when Ash tries to start the car, it won't start, and Cheryl gets even more scared seeing this. She says that she knows it won't start as it won't let them leave. But suddenly the car starts, and they both leave for the town. Ash stops the car after going some distance, and sees that the only bridge to go out from there has been completely destroyed. Cheryl panics as she realizes that they are now trapped and the demonic entity will not let them leave. Back at the cabin, Ash listens to more of the tape, learning that the only way to kill the entity is to dismember a possessed host. As Linda and Shelley play spades, Cheryl correctly calls out the cards, succumbs to the entity, and levitates. In a raspy demonic voice, she demands to know why they disturbed her sleep and friends to kill everyone. Seeing this, 
They all get terrified, and then Cheryl faints and falls down. Just then, Scott also comes there and asks them what happened to her. Now when Linda and Ash go to check on her, Cheryl picks up a pencil, suddenly gets up and stabs Linda in the ankle with that pencil, and when Ash tries to stop her, she throws him into a shelf. She then starts moving toward Ash to kill him, and when Scott tries to stop her, he throws him away. Then as she approaches Ash, Scott attacks her, causing her to fall near the cellar, and he kicks her down. She tries to come out and asks him to join them, but Scott locks the cellar with the help of a chain. Later, Scott and Shelley notice that Cheryl has been completely possessed, and she becomes paranoid upon seeing Cheryl's demonic transformation. Just then we see a force coming toward them from outside, and Shelley tells Scott that there is probably someone outside. Scott comes to her and tells her to go to bed and get some sleep. Shelley goes to her room but is drawn to look out of her window, where a demon crashes through and attacks her. Hearing her scream, Scott comes to check in, but she attack him there. He comes out and throws her in the fireplace, and she asks him to take her out. When Scott pulls her out, he thanks him and attacks him again. Ash tries to save him, but she throws him away. Now she tries to kill him with a Sumerian knife lying nearby, but Scott cuts her hand with his knife, after which she herself bites off her hand. And then Scott stabs her in the back with that Sumerian dagger, causing her to shriek in pain and apparently killing her. Now Scott goes to check on her, but she reanimates again and starts moving towards him. He gets terrified seeing her and dismembers her with an axe. But they see that her body parts are still moving, and Scott says they will have to bury her. After this, both of them bring out her pieces and bury them in the ground. Scott then tells Ash that he is leaving this place right now, to which Ash says that they can't take Linda anywhere with her leg like that. Scott says that he doesn't care for her. She is his girlfriend so he should take care of her. And saying this, he leaves from there alone. Ash then goes to Linda to check her foot, and sees that the wound on her leg is spreading. Suddenly she too turns into a demon, and Ash gets terrified seeing her like this. He comes out of the cabin fried, but just then Scott returns mortally wounded from the possessed trees, and we see Linda sitting there laughing seeing them. Scott tells him that it's not gonna let them leave and they are all going to die here. Ash tells him they will get out and asks him if there is a way around the bridge to which Scott says that he doesn't want to die, and we see Cheryl mocking and making fun of him. Scott tells him there is a trail, but the trees are alive. Cheryl and Linda start laughing hearing him, which enraged Ash and he asks her to shut up, but when she starts laughing even louder, Ash grabs a shotgun and threatens to shoot her, and only then she becomes normal and asks him to help her, and tells him not to let them take her away. Just then, Cheryl asks Ash to take her out of the cellar, and her voice sounds normal. She tells him that she is alright now and asks him to unlock the chain. Ash takes the keys out of his pocket and tries to peek inside the cellar, but suddenly Cheryl attacks him. Ash somehow frees himself from her and then Linda starts giggling from behind, and he sees that Linda has been possessed again. Ash tells her to shut up, but Linda starts singing a song that enraged him, so he drags her out of the cabin and leaves her there. He then comes back to Scott and tells him that soon the sun will be up and they will be going home together but notices that he is dead already. Then he hears Linda laughing and goes to check her at the window, but suddenly she attacks him from behind. She then starts licking his blood on the dagger. Now when she tries to attack him again, Ash fights back and stabs the dagger on her back, causing her to faint. He then ties her up with a chain and tries to cut her with a chainsaw, but because he loved her so much, he could not do it. He takes her out of the cabin and buries her there. Now as he starts leaving, he sees Linda's locket there, and as he bends down to pick it up, Linda suddenly comes out of the ground and starts scratching his leg, causing him to fall. He finds a wood there and starts attacking her with it, but that has no effect on her and she keeps laughing. She then throws him away, and when she jumps to attack him, Ash severs her head with a shovel, due to which her severed body falls on Ash and her head falls away and starts wailing. Now when he comes back to the cabin, he sees that the cellar door is broken and Cheryl is not there. Just then he hears some sound from inside, so he grabs his gun and starts moving towards that side, and suddenly Cheryl attacks him from the window, but Ash shoots her. Ash sees that she is still alive, so he runs to the door to shut it so that Cheryl doesn't break into the cabin. He then realizes that his gun's bullets are running out. He goes to the cellar to get them, but as he reaches there, he sees that blood is dripping out of a pipe which breaks suddenly, and then blood starts dripping from everywhere. Ash manages to find the bullets, 
reloads the gun, and comes back upstairs. He takes out Linda's locket from his pocket, and then suddenly Cheryl attacks him and asks him to join them. But Ash frees himself from her and shoots her in the face. Cheryl then leaves there, and Ash blocks the door with a table. But only then Scott gets up and attacks him. But Ash gouges his eyes out to free himself and takes out a tree branch stuck in his body, causing him to bleed out and fall to the ground. Cheryl then breaks through the barricade and knocks Ash to the floor. As Scott and Cheryl continue to attack Ash on the ground, Ash manages to grab the nature rom de Manto and throw it into the fireplace. While the book burns, the deadites freeze in place, then begin to rapidly decompose. Large appendages then burst from both corpses that cover Ash in blood. The demon then says join us and the voice gets keeps fainting. Dawn breaks, and Ash stumbles outside, and as he walks away from the cabin, an unseen demon moves rapidly through the forest, rushes through the cabin, and attacks him from behind. Please like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon never to miss new video updates. Thanks for watching!